Hey everyone, so I just wanted to go ahead and uh, give you guys a disclaimer before you watch this video that I made. So it's pretty much unedited and I just wanted to do that because I just wanted to get authenticity through this video because I feel like something that's uh, less edited and uh, I guess polished is like more authentic. That's how I feel about it. But these are pretty much my opinions and my views on this year's election and everything that's going on in this country due to the results of the election. So I hope you guys go ahead and enjoy this video and let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section below and we can interact and do all that stuff. Okay, thank you, bye. Good evening, guys. Welcome to today's vlog. It is Vlogvember day number nine. And it is the 9th of November 2016. So yesterday was election day, as we all know, in this beautiful country of the United States of America. And I went out and voted yesterday, and to my surprise, Donald Trump is now going to be the president of the United States, which surprised me as much as the next person that didn't vote for him. <laughs> but, um... Yes, yeah, so the point of this video is to not, um, um, is to not trash talk Trump because that's the least of my concerns right now because what I'm concerned about right now is, um, the way people are treating each other and the way that we're being divided and not being brought together through this election, like, that is something that's on my heart, that's been on, on my heart pretty much all day, is just how the outcome of this election has turned people against each other. Actually, this whole election is just really upsetting, to be honest, because I, did, I honestly didn't want either of the candidates to win. I voted for Bernie Sanders, to be completely honest. <laughs> but... Um, there's no point dwelling in the past, like, that's already said and done. Now is now, and now we have to deal with the consequences, which is Donald Trump as our president. So, I mean, I honestly, I don't, I don't want to lose hope or faith in this country or anything like that. Like, I, I, I mean, I'm not losing hope because I feel like, I don't know, like, maybe Donald Trump does have something offered to this country, like... Who's to say that he doesn't, like, yeah, he's a racist, yeah, he's a sexist person and a, and a, someone that doesn't, um, that makes fun of mentally handicapped, uh, like, people, like, I don't know, just, just him and seeing his reputation, seeing him on, uh, TV so often, and his reputation isn't the best, to be honest, like, we all know that we've seen his flaws, we've seen all the bad stuff that he's done, but I have faith and I hope that he is able to um, make a difference in this country with the, with the state that it's in right now. I know that it's a big, like, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm being very optimistic. <laughs> I'm a very optimistic person, just on, on its own, or on my own, I'm just super optimistic. Like, I have a very positive outlook on life and stuff, but now I feel like my optimism is being, like, kind of put to the test right now because just the outcome of this election was very, very surprising. Um, but anyway, I just want to say that we shouldn't be angry at each other, we shouldn't be sharing hatred, we should be sharing optimism, optimism and positivity during this time of uncertainty and fear. I feel that we need to be that light to the people that are feeling like all hope is lost and let them know that all hope isn't lost, like we can stand together as a nation, come together and support one another and know that this country isn't ran just by one person but it's run ran by all of us as as individuals, as as a whole body, as a country, we can just, you know, come together and just be one country united. I'm feeling like I'm going on this crazy tangent, but I, I honestly believe that we could totally come together and not, don't lose hope, you guys, like, we can't lose hope, like, this is something, this is a very, like, uh, tr uh, I don't know, traumatic time, I feel, in 
the world even like people are amazed in all these different countries of the outcome of this election and people are scared for you know their their uh, livelihood here in this country and it's just it's sad to see you know all these people scared of what's going to happen to them and their families of people that they love um but i just wanted to share a message of hope and a, a message of optimism because that's where my heart is right now at this place like last night i went to sleep feeling very uh nervous and like uncertain of the future of this country but as i woke up and as i was just like thinking about it meditating and praying about everything that's happened uh within the past 24 hours i was able to like have this overall overwhelming sense of peace and knowing that hey like don't lose faith like like i just felt like god was just speaking to me directly saying like don't lose faith in this at all like don't lose faith in your country do not lose faith in humanity so i'm just trying to be that that light i just want to shine my light onto the world and just share this uh share my feelings on this whole uh, scenario that we're in right now as a country but yeah if you guys like have anything to say to me or have any questions to ask like definitely put them in the comment sections below because I would love to you know talk to you guys about just how I'm feeling if you want to express how you're feeling it like just leave it all out there you know and in, in the open and just be vulnerable and just you know be true to yourself you know so anyway guys, I hope you have a fantastic evening and just know that you're loved and you have nothing to fear because you have loving, supportive people by your side and we're all here just to support you. I'm just speaking as like gen in general, not, I mean, at me as well, like if you have any issues or any questions or anything that you want to talk about, just leave it in the comment section, but I am here to support you and um, I just want to let you guys know that you are loved and yeah, don't lose hope, guys. Do not lose hope. We can we can get through this. I know it's going to be a tough four years, but I know that with uh, with hope and faith, we can definitely get through these next four years. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a fantastic evening, and I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Okay, bye. Love you. Don't lose hope, okay? Love you. You're a freaking amazing. Yes, you. You. Okay. Bye. <laughs>